And you got to be special when you know I can't have you When I'm under the next one, oh, I know you want me to grasp you Oh, do you mean you keep on making me be Nightmares turn into a dream If you're so toxic to me, what am I feeling? Cause I thought it was over Got me thinking my feelings over You keep doing it over and over Hello Aries, so this reading is going to be um, inspired by Divinity Diva Tiro. So I was watching her video and I love like how she did the divination. She used a very different technique. Um, so she was using oracles, charms, and then she was using it with the 12 zodiac houses. So I'm like, okay, that's dope. So I'm definitely gonna put her link in the comment section. Definitely check her out because I was inspired. I was like, okay, I was shook. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing this as a series. I'm probably gonna do this like once per month or something like that. Um, but let's start with the first house, okay? So the first house is about your appearance, how people view you, how people perceive you, okay? And it's also your outlook on life. So this reading is probably going to be the most, um, and probably resonate the most for the Aries rising. But if you don't know your rising, then I would say definitely look at your sun. So if Aries is your sun, look at this reading and also look at your moon, okay? So I'm going to pull some charms real quick. Um, I pull the cards. I'm going to be pulling the cards um, and the charms off camera so it can just be a quicker video, okay? Because I did my rising sign, the Gemini reading and it was like 45 minutes even though I was speed I was speeding through the shuffling and laying out the cards so <laughs> that was too long so I'm just going to be pulling the cards and the oracles off camera okay but let's start with the first house so you guys got between worlds okay then there is staff you'll be taken care of in a difficult difficult times okay then there is yoke Feeling tied down or frustrated and love. Interesting, okay. Frying pan, trouble and accusation. So first house is like, again, how people view you. Um, this is, could be your outlook in life right now. Right now you may feel like people is not putting you in consideration, especially if you're in a relationship. Um, probably you feel like you are self-sacrificing. Your partner is not putting your needs are your feelings in consideration or putting you first okay um but what i'm gonna hear with that stuff i feel like this could be close f friends and family members they're probably gonna be encouraging you to like move on from this person with that between the worlds okay between worlds now when it comes to appearance um probably you guys been really focused on your academics when it comes to your goals okay and you probably feel like you've been slacking a little bit like probably you feel like you've been gaining weight or losing weight um i feel like what is gonna what is what's showing here is that you are going to be connecting with people that's going to like kind of inspire you help you motivate to get to your ish get back to you okay um so the charms that i got for you guys is always remember you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem smarter than you think and love more than you know okay yeah so if you're not getting uh, the love that you desire from someone else, the universe trying to say, like, you will get it through someone else. You just got to let this person go, okay? So probably your friends and family members is seeing you being stressed, and they want you to get out of this situation. Then there's key, okay, and it's shaped with love, okay? So I feel like you are going to get some form of, like, some form of knowledge or some form of wisdom through someone about love and relationships, and then there is sun okay so i feel like you guys are going to get back to you aries um sometime is co-ruled by the sun okay and then we are in leo season so i feel like by the end of leo season you're going to get back to yourself and then there is willpower and then there is eyes on each other lovely make eyes make eyes okay so I feel like you have other people that want to be with you, okay? But it could be like you have love for someone else. So there's attachment 
So it's kind of hard to, to move on. But I do see you going to be moving on if it's some situation or connection that's not working out for you. Okay, live, love, and laugh. Okay, you will be getting over this period or this phase soon. Okay, so let's look at your second house. So the second house is all about your personal income. This is also about position and self-worth. Okay, why self-worth? Because towards rule that house naturally and towards is the empress okay and that's self work now the one thing i noticed is there is a lot of yellow and olive energy i mean olive energy <laughs> olive colors okay so i feel like a lot of you guys are working with the chakra that is um the solar plexus chakra which is a yellow chakra and some guys are working with your heart chakra or doing both okay um the solar plexus chakra is all about willpower and so it's interesting how that willpower card came out i mean the willpower charm came out um so i feel like you guys are mastering self-discipline a lot okay especially when it comes to money probably not uh, spending spontaneously or spending the way that you would like to being more conservative with that okay now let's look at the first card there is TikTok. okay then there is lion time to act be in beast mode okay <laughs> grapes Time to go out and have fun. Okay. So there are going to be times where your friends, your homies, your your family members is trying to say, okay, let's go out. Okay, let's do a girl's trip. Let's do a boy's trip. Okay. But you know that this is going to cause extra. It's going to get out of your budget. I feel like what you guys are going to be doing, you're going to be doing the smart thing. <laughs> okay. You guys are not going to be spending as much money. That's what I'm getting here. Um, now let's look at the charms. So there is Aquarius, then there is love, dream, hope, and trust. Then there is the love between mother and daughters, um, is forever. So probably you guys been helping your mother a lot. Okay. Um, then there is star, then there is a oh, Leo, Leo fall. Okay. Um, then there is family and then there is an anchor with the will of fortune okay so yeah probably you've been spending a lot of money on family i'm probably going to be mentioning that right now you can't spend as much especially when the school season is happening probably you feel like you just can't spend it at this moment um i just i would just say have this conversation with them i feel like they will be hearing you out hopefully <laughs> now we did got the leo and aquarius now so these are opposite um, sign. So there might be some opposition when it comes to like your finances a little bit. You may feel like things are not going the way that's planned. That we are in a bear market, and you know how the market is. <laughs> it seemed like we were in um, the recession, but you know it's not been confirmed. So it's. I feel like we're trying to say just be more smarter with the money. Don't spend too much. Um, invest wisely. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm trying to pick up the card. I see the card. Okay. I don't know where the charm went. <laughs> okay. Let's look at... Actually, let's go to the self-worth here. Also, what I'm getting here is do not let your finances affect your mood and affect how you are. Okay. Now, sometimes that's tricky because, you know, if someone is going through something financially, it does affect everything. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is like, don't like a situation that seemed like um like a l a loss make you feel like okay that's how it's gonna be forever okay know that there is gonna be something better okay again like when one door closes another one open okay so you just look at your third house so for third house um this is all about communication your mentality and all those siblings okay so the cards that i have for you guys is imagine and achieving gifts okay probably you do have um siblings that their birthday's coming up their birthday's in leo season or virgo season okay so probably they want you to go all out for them <laughs> then august yeah so you guys do have leo or virgo family members and then there is broken ring parting of the ways in either romance or business and then there is fire strong emotion passion love or hate now when it comes to romantic relationships some of you guys feel like you wasted your time your energy your love probably your finances on someone and now like you the love that you have is probably turning to hate but what the universe wants you to do is basically process your emotions but don't let don't let this person get the best out of you where 
it's taking your energy, it's depleting you. Um, you are ch it's changing how you view love. No, don't let that happen. Be in that Aries energy where you you snap back. Okay, like you 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 level up to the next level. Okay, now with the charms, I got Scorpio, and then I got Hamsa. Okay, which is protection. Okay. Then I got another hamsa. I got double hamsa. And then I got the key. Then there is butterfly. Then there is grace. Okay, yeah. Gracefully walk away. Gracefully let something go. Okay. Don't get too caught up of a breakup. Okay. There's better in store. You are divinely guided to break up with this person or this breakup. If you didn't break up with them, they break up with you. This this is how it's supposed to be. The universe got someone better in store for you, okay? And Scorpio is a rebirth. So let the situation die out because there's gonna be something more, much better. I feel like the universe is wanting you to think bigger too, overall, because it's with your mentality. Think bigger, don't limit yourself, okay? Because when you limit yourself, you limit what God can do for you. I feel like August is gonna be like kind of like an epiphany moment, okay? So whatever epiphany happened, take that with you and like basically expand um see what you can um see what you can do to like evolve more that's what i'm getting here so let's look at the fourth house so you guys so for the fourth house um this is about home this is about family this is emotions okay so the card that i have for you guys is blessed so i feel like family life is gonna be very harmonious um your emotions, even though there might be some like mishaps, what I'm seeing, I feel like you are going to be in your Aries energy. You're going to get over something very quickly, okay? <laughs> um, and then with home, I feel like you're going to feel really blessed for what you have. Some of you guys are fellow life path um, numbers, master numbers 22 as well. Um, then there is ten, temporary situation, and then there's fly, a pair of ill health or depression okay probably someone is going through something in your family however i feel like um they're gonna get over it but the years first probably want you to connect with them send them positive energy okay so the charm that i got for you guys is drive safe i need you home with me then there is bicycle okay then there's butterfly then there is what is this I can't they make the font so small <laughs> okay God giving you one conception and make yourselves another okay probably got to look at things differently there's flower and there's Capricorn Aquarius um what I'm getting here too this is since it's the home the fourth house is the home of your emotions the universe want you to transmit energy don't get too caught up with what's lacking in your life what went wrong okay don't get caught up with that um really focus on how can you heal like what how you want to feel okay focus on that and things that make you feel good okay and it's positive for you it's not something that is like gonna cause addiction or is negative um that's what the universe is wanting you to do so the universe is wanting you to check your energy okay check your energy don't let situations people none of that affect you where you because when you focus on negative stuff, it, it tra you attract more of that. So the universe wants you to just clear it out, check your energy, and focus on things that you actually want and how you want to feel, okay? That's going to be positive in your life, okay? Some of you guys are Capricorn or Aquarius. The significant Aquarius keep coming out. So Aries and Aquarius tend to link up, so that, might, so that sign might be significant for you guys, okay? And with the bicycle, I feel like what I'm trying to say is, like, take it slow because I'm thinking of, like... Um, tricycles okay i think that's what you call them and you go to a bicycle and it's like a more slower transportation so i feel like what you was trying to say just take your time be more meaningful be in a present too okay so let's look at the fourth house so i mean fifth house <laughs> so fifth house is a, the house of creativity expression um this is also a, relating to children and um sexuality sexuality so Let's look at the cards. Um, you guys got a change in the wind, poise, and chop wood. Okay, probably you might feel like with creativity, things have been blocked. Okay, but I feel like you are going to get inspired. Aries is a very creative sign. I noticed a lot of Aries, they are good with music. They know how to play an instrument. 
they um, not a sing or a rap, but I know they say more on the producing side. Okay, so some of you guys need to tap into your musical creative side. Okay, um, then there's Kangaroo. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. Sun, happiness and well-being. And then there's Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is like, don't get caught up with what's going on probably financially or when it comes to work, okay? Um, the universe is wanting you to make a way, okay? Make a way. That's going to be the highlight. And I've been saying this for a couple of signs. So the universe is just really wanting you to make a way. Don't let things like make you feel like you're losing it or you're, you're going through a breakdown, okay? Because again, what is... What is perceiving as a breakdown is actually a breakthrough, okay? Then there is bear, danger, especially in money matters, okay? The universe is really wanting you to be careful, like, how you're spending, what you're investing. The universe wants you to budget more, okay? Don't be too frivolous with your money. Don't be too spontaneous with your money, okay? Now, um, let's look at the charm. So you guys got butterfly, okay? Then there's Sagittarius. Then there is star, then there is a leaf, cancer, and a tree. Okay. So when it comes to, because we already talked about creativity, um, this, let's talk about the tree. This is with the children. Um, I feel like with your children, what I'm trying to say is like, don't let things that's happening at work, don't bring that home. That's what I'm getting. Don't bring that home because sometimes that happens. Um, but just check your energy, like I was mentioning, check your energy, don't bring that home so your children don't feel like they're being blamed or punished or something like that, okay? Um, and then some of you guys right now, if you are single, probably you're just going to be doing you. I don't see you are going to be in a relationship. Some of you guys are just going to be just doing you, okay, with that butterfly. Some of you guys going to be dating a Sagittarius or a Cancer or both, okay? So let's look at the six house. So six house is all about work, routine, and health, okay? So let's look at your card. You got deep knowing, then there is wind chimes, peace, and harmony, and then there is archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So I feel like what I'm trying to say, it's kind of be channeling mutable energy, even though you're a cardinal energy. It's trying to say be open to change. Some of you guys already knew that whatever that's happening, you've been knew that it was going to happen like this, okay? So the universe is wanting you to be open to new ideals, new opportunities, new ways to make money, multiple streams of income, okay? Um, let's look at the charm. So you guys got Sagittarius. So you got Sagittarius and Aquarius keep coming out, okay? Um, then there's tree again. Then there's owl. Wow. Owls like to be on the tree. <laughs> And there is, she believed she could, so she did, okay? And then there is, believe, yes. So yeah, the universe is opening a brand new world for you. So again, whatever that you feel like it's closing out, let it be. You got something much better for you guys. And this is actually aligned to your new chapter of your life, new, um, your purpose, basically, okay? And this is going to be something that's going to feel more... You're not going to be stressed out, okay? So just say you, in previous previous occupations, previous jobs, work, whatever, companies that you work for, you've been stressed in the past. I feel like this new path that you are going to be creating or going to be going on to, it's going to be very peaceful for you. Um, and I feel like you are able to get all the knowledge and all the experience that you have and apply it to this new thing, Okay. And some of you guys are going back to school. That's what I'm getting here. Some of you guys are going to be going to school abroad. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of wisdom because Sagittarius is the ninth house. And the ninth house is all about wisdom and spirituality. And this is all knowing. Okay. With that all. Okay. So, yeah. I feel like what I'm trying to say is like the universe is opening bigger opportunities, bigger doors for you guys. So, let's look at the seventh house. Okay, so the seventh house is all about relationship and partnerships, okay? So you guys got here and now, February, and then there is fair woman, dealing or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. And then there is what for you would not pass you. And then there is dream. And then there is 
the sun then there is my love is alive oh that's cute <laughs> so what i'm getting here love so the relationship is not working out because i did got that in the first house okay let it be because i feel like you will be with your person that it's right for you okay what you would consider your dream person okay um now some of you guys are already in this okay um and probably the first house message doesn't apply to you um if you're in this relationship already i feel like things are solidifying okay someone is expressing more how they truly feel about you probably you guys are gonna be meeting each other family soon okay but some of you guys again i feel like this is like something that is is going to be coming your way because if you look the door is opening and it's an egg so it's like a birth okay the past and the future yeah so some of you guys in this transition where you're going to be moving on from someone and then this is going to happen for you guys okay five might be important okay right this person is born on the fifth day okay that's what i'm getting or they might be born in may that rhymes too <laughs> okay that's what i'm saying so this person might be good with their words so it might have gemini energy okay let me see what this say you what wait you are here you are here yeah so it's gonna come coming it's gonna be coming through you probably know this person too i'm getting here because there's a child here so probably you guys went to the same elementary school way back when <laughs> Middle school, college, high school, okay? That's what I'm seeing as well. Okay, you might meet them. It's like at the beach in the wind, okay? You might meet them when the weather's like crappy. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting for you guys for the eighth house. So eighth house is a house of transformation. This is also about rebirth and sexuality, okay? So you guys got observer, okay? So some of you guys are just looking at things that you know that you can change. And there's eggs in a lot of these. So egg is a theme, okay? And egg is, again, it's about birth or rebirth, okay? And then I got the moon. So you are looking deep within, like, what do you need to, like, kind of release emotionally, okay? Also, the moon can represent the 12th house, which is your subconscious. You look going back and seeing, like, if there's any subconscious blocks, okay? Um, yeah, it's the wall. Any subconscious blocks, things that you didn't really fully understand. I feel like you're looking deeper within. And then there is beetle, good fortune. Um, for some reason, I was getting butter, okay? So I feel like things is going to get more smoother when it comes to your finances once you do this, okay? Because it's going to cause like like a, like a epiphany. It's going to cause a breakthrough, okay? Then for the charms, there is the um, the letter V, so that initial might be important for you guys. Then there's tree, so again, this is I feel like this is with like programming, subconscious. Then there is starfish, okay. Then there's fearless, the key. It's trying to say yeah, tap into your Aries energy, being bold, being fierce, okay. So much of me is made from what I learned from you. You be with me like a handprint on my heart, okay? So this is, again, with, I feel like this is family roots. This is programming, okay? Taking the good programming with you, but removing any negative programming out of your subconscious, okay? Because that creates subconscious blocks. This could be relating to finances as well. Probably your parents was not, like, the most wealthiest, okay? And they might They probably said some things that kind of still stick to you in your subconscious mind so the universe is wanting you to remove those blocks okay because good things are going to be happening okay so that's the rebirth the rebirth is more so with your mentality and also is more so with your subconscious mind okay and reprogramming your your brain okay so let's look at the ninth house so the ninth house is the house of spirituality wisdom and travel okay um i always keep getting energy of 444 so 444 is all about support okay some of you guys are life path number four or life path master number 22 okay so i feel like we're trying to say is that you on the road um to greatness okay um probably you guys need to just kind of like be more flexible because that's such energy and be more mutable of 
how to get to where you're going okay don't feel like there's only one way there's probably multiple ways okay now i gotta clean it up so the universe is wanting to like kind of like learn some something more okay learn something more being more positive because this is such as energy that's optimism okay then there is a younger man dealing or relationship with a younger man and then there is i psychic ability trust your intuition so yeah the universe is wanting you to trust your intuition if you've been feeling like vibes are off energy is off trust it um okay then there is for the charms it takes a big heart to teach little minds again i feel like they're trying to say move in silence don't tell everything to everybody like what you're doing or what you want like your plans none of that because some people are just negative and they they try to send negative energy evil eye but again you're protected but just move in silence okay then there is every journey starts with one step the universe is wanting you to take steps this could be relating to traveling or moving okay um then there's feather then there's Gemini. There's probably someone that is telling your business, so just pay attention to, I mean, just be careful with that. This kind of reminds me of a Phoenix. Well, it kind of reminds me of a Phoenix. So again, probably there's something that you need to like let go of. Then there, look at that, the eye. This is the eye of Haras. Your intuition is gonna be really heightened, and Aries is a very intuitive sign. So the universe is trying to say, trust your intuition. Don't give people the benefit of doubt. Okay. Then there's Taurus. These signs might be significant for you. Probably these people are trying to plot on you. Then I got love. And then there is forever. Okay. Probably they're not. Probably you got Taurus and Gemini that's supporting you or just one of these signs. Um, there's a person that's one of these signs that are pure, like they have good intentions. The other one is with some BS. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm seeing. And a feather, I'm thinking about like, when you sage, sometimes um, use a feather to um, like get the smoke and sage the home or whatever you are saging. So there's some things that you do need to remove. And it could be a Gemini since it's close by. And that's what I'm saying. It could be a Gemini person or just someone who likes to gossip. Someone who is just negative, okay? And you can sense that like, this is someone who's been sending you negative energy. You got to remove them, the, this person out of your life, okay? Um yeah i say younger man younger woman okay so this person could be younger than you okay <laughs> in the face like this is someone who's a hater anyways <laughs> let's look at your 10th house so the 10th house is about career hard work um dedication it's also about education and learning okay so you guys got message in the bottle and truth be told then there is unicorn use your intuition to make beneficial changes okay keep emphasizing that using your intuition so i might name this reading trusting your intuition it's never going to leave you astray okay then it is a chain of events that will affect your life i feel like positive news is coming and then i'm getting like some of you guys are going to go back to school that's what i'm getting so some of you guys are going to get accepted to your program um to the university that you want to be in okay um there is a flower I'm getting wallflower for some reason so some of you guys you're not like feeling like you're back to yourself some of you guys are being really in hermit mode okay then there is cancer then there is hope then there is the deer then there's scorpio so we got to do water sign then you got flower again and then you got the mechanical wheel then you got home then you got music i think what is this music symbol nope this is a flower oh it's a child oh my gosh <laughs> a child okay some of you guys have children i feel like your children is gonna be re doing really well this school year okay um they're probably gonna be doing something um some of them probably could be in high school they're probably gonna do a trade or something if they're not in high school probably they are gonna take like ap courses um dual enrollment okay or getting their associates while they're in high school um or they're going to be doing something that they love to do while they're in high school and probably they're going to be um being like an it coding okay it could be something like that 
okay now for those who don't have children what i'm getting here is like you're gonna get like you're gonna be feeling like you need to do something creative and that's gonna be very helpful for you and i feel like this again this is aligned to your purpose and it's also aligned to whatever you're going to be doing when it comes to learning something or with your career okay so the universe is definitely it's encouraging you to trust your intuition and this new path that you're going okay especially when it regards to your career your academics okay it's gonna be positive let's look at the love and power so the love and house is a house of friendship network and hopes and wishes the hopes and wishes because it's naturally ruled by star oh, by star <laughs> by the um, by aquarius okay which is represented in the tarot by the star okay there is a thinker some of you guys are connecting with a virgo or aquarius then there is scissor disappointment and some affair and then there is bats take care enemies are working against you wow so they might when like when you are networking with other people people they might see you as competition okay and when you sense that vibe just cut the conversation short okay um don't network with them even though you may feel like these people i got their ish together you know probably but i hope they will help you out don't get too caught up with that i feel like we're trying to say like these people are haters it's like they try to block you so if you do see that just make your own way. Like I'm getting. Make your own way. Um, you don't need nobody, okay? You got the universe, and that's fine. That's that's all you need, okay? There is a family love is forever. Family is a circle of love. Okay, I mean, it's, it's a circle. Yeah, a circle of love. So, some of you guys are going to be um, closer to your distant family. So, this could be your cousins, Okay. Um, probably you haven't hang up with uh, your cousins for a while. They're going to be very close to you again. It's going to make you feel like these are like your friends as well. Then there's Aquarius. Aquarius keep coming out for you guys. And then two Capricorns. <laughs> and then there's Gemini again. And then there is Star and Feather. Okay. So when it comes to networking again, people see you as a threat. They see you as, you know, you can you can get whatever you want they just see you they see your potential so don't get too caught up with this type of these type of people okay the universe is wanting you to just when you sense that vibe just don't connect with them okay connect with people that actually have good intentions okay so let's look at your 12th house so the 12th house is about subconscious um this is also about the code and also hidden enemies okay so let's look at the cards, okay? So you guys got fork in the road and community. So there's gonna be someone who's gonna be nice, nasty, <laughs> okay? Those type of people. Um, again, pay attention to vibes, pay attention to your intuition. Your intuition will say, nah, don't connect with this one. This one's fake as hell. Listen, listen to it, <laughs> okay? Um, let's look at this. You got a lot of cards for this um, stack, okay? There's pen, new job and career, needle and thread, and sincere wish will be granted. Then there's elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end. So this whole reading, I'm getting like, you're going to be wiser, okay? Tink, art, celebration, fun and enjoyment, woman, dealing with a relationship with a woman, stork, news of a birth or new business opportunities, older woman, dealing with a relationship with an older woman. Then there's lightning, control your anger, or you'll be sorry. What's going on? <laughs> like, what's going on? Leg, stepping into your stepping into a new experience. And then skills, keep your life in balance. Okay, yeah. So what I'm trying to say here, that's got a lot of parts. So what I'm getting here, so this is the house of your subconscious and hidden enemies and things that you don't see. The universe wants you to really listen and trust your intuition. Don't act on of feelings okay and don't let people get the best out of you when people try to test you don't give them the energy that they want okay um i do see you going to have new opportunities that be coming that's going to come to you okay and it's by you taking your first step i got that message in another house for you guys okay um if you are watching this you can read because I, I forgot which house but Whenever I said taking the first step in that house, that might be look at the planets in the, the house because probably that's going to really give you clarity of what you need to do. Okay. Like when it comes to career um, or 
doing things differently then there's clouds temporary problems okay um yeah i feel like it's there, there's probably a lot of people that just see you as a threat okay but just know that that's good that that means you have a lot of potential it's more so not getting distracted and also it's about connecting with the right people and the universe is wanting you to listen to your intuition regarding all those things now i got a lot of charms for you guys too so there is you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. I feel like this is pertaining to you, the masculine, because I do got two energy, two women. The universe wants you to pick and choose who's actually the right one for you, okay? That's what I'm getting with that. Then there is live in the moment. Some of you guys are wanting to do that. <laughs> you don't want to um, settle down just yet. Make a wish, make a wish, success. I feel like you're going to be meeting a good person. Okay. But you got to be ready for it. Okay. Then it's mad. Then there is heart, love. Then there is... Let's see what else I'm getting for you guys. It's kind of hard to read. Okay. After all this time. <laughs> after all this time, I feel like you are going to be finding love. Okay. So they're trying to say don't self-sabotage. Beautiful. Okay. You're going to be meeting a beautiful person. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, 12th house, it just trying to say there's a lot of people who see you as a threat, but that's okay. You're on the right path. Um, using your intuition more. I do see love finding you. It's about not self-sabotaging. And, yeah, I do see that, okay? Let's look at the bottom of the deck. So, you guys got purse. Pay attention to your finances. Yeah, I was mentioning that. Don't spend too frivolously. Then I also got for you guys dolphin, a financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Okay, I see good karma coming as well. Then there is serendipity. Okay, so I feel like there's gonna be a lot of happier times I had. Okay, especially next year. Yes, next year. Because I mentioned this in my community tab. The north node and the south node is gonna be changing from Taurus and Scorpio to Aries and Libra. So you guys are gonna experience the most positive changes in these um 18 months from the summer of 2023 to um 2025 okay so yeah that's good so that's the reading that i have for you aries rising but if you're watching this as an aries sun and resonate then this is your reading if you're aries moon this is your reading if it resonates too so thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal read with me at queenfinitero at gmail.com. And definitely check out Keen. Keen is offering the first 10 minutes for $1.99. I put the link in the description box as well. Okay, bye you guys.